go ahead and read it. Um, okay. I'm gonna, we, we're sending out this, our, our link. Um, people aren't getting, for some reason, didn't get the link. So I'm trying to help, help them um, to get the link. So hang on one second, let me, let me make sure they get it. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, again, Cam, super happy for you and um, proud of you for, all your perseverance and um, really uh, doing well on that transaction um, and being so coachable. So you took everything I said, even when I was talking in a flurry because I was busy and you had questions, you took it and, um, and just were a champ. Um, so I really, um, I really appreciate uh, your partnership. That was wonderful. Thank you. Absolutely. I appreciate your partnership as well. I mean, anytime I called you, you were there. Um, and if you weren't able to answer the phone at that moment, you always called me back. So that was a huge help just to knowing that you were on the other end. Um, if I had any questions or if I needed to vent, which I did many times. Um, so definitely kudos to you. And I appreciate you greatly. Absolutely. Thank you. All right, so let's get started. We are gonna hop into our, let's hop in right now to our weekly market update, you guys. Um, I don't know, did you guys hear that interest rates actually went down a bit? Did anybody hear that besides me? No? Okay. Yes. Interest rates actually yes. did Sorry. go down a bit. So that is definitely... Um, reduce the rates or anything like that um rates just actually went down in anticipation um and because the fed is seeing positive um uh, even though there are some things that happen and i'll go over that with you guys but um even though there are some things that are going on they're seeing that inflation has been uh, going down moving in the right direction and because of their positive report and the potential that in september which is just next month that they're going to reduce interest rates, um, that they are actually anticipating that and interest rates actually took a dip. So that's a good thing. All right, we all know to be TCPA compliant, please do not call people on the do not call list because we do not want to get our hands slapped and get into any type of lawsuits. So let's look at LA County, all right? So LA County, um, the trend right now for sale properties has actually gone up over last month. Properties that are in us that are um, active on the market has gone up over last month, 8.6%. Over last year, same time frame in August. Now, remember, I'm not going to really go over this middle column too much, you guys, because we are literally talking about a comparison of three days, the first through the third, right? You're, so you're comparing the first three days of August this year to the first three days of August of last year. So that's not really a good comparison um, because, you know, the reality is three days does is, is really nothing. And it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right? Or, or probably Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, yes, yeah, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So um, only two working days, right? Um, so I am, well, I should say Cal uh, uh, business days because we're always working, always working. Um, but this column over here, year to date comparison is where we're gonna live at um, today because that is more relevant, okay, in terms of the data. You guys agree with that and understand that? That makes sense? Yes, that makes sense. Okay, all right. All right, so for sale properties, we are up 43.2% over last year. Again, that's really significant because we are in need of inventory because we have been in such starvation mode in inventory that we definitely need it. And in LA County, we are seeing that we have higher um, levels of inventory that are, and it's it's continuing to creep up. So 43.2% um, higher over last year. Sold properties. Again, I'm not, I'm not gonna focus on this column right here because again, 
we are comparing the first three days of August to the first three days of July, okay? So it, it as you can see here, is a 53.8% decrease, but is that really, you know, significant? Um, let's see what it looks like next week when we have more like 10 days uh, to actually see exactly what's going on, right? But the first three days, it's down 53.8%. So basically what we're saying is we have more closings last month in the first three days of the month than we did um, this month at the first three days of the month, okay? To the tune of we're declining 53.8%. Uh, um, we are still 1% higher than we were last year on sold properties. So properties that have closed escrow is actually 1% higher than it was last year which is interesting considering we are 43.2% higher on active properties on the market. So we've got more inventory. That's not translating into sales, however, right? A lot, a lot of that is more than likely because of the higher interest rates that we are seeing, right? Um, and then pendants are down 45.5% over last month, um, over last month and 2.7% higher over last year. So three out of three, we are still batting a thousand in LA County of our major um, sales trends are still in the green, which is great. All right, new listing inventory is down 26.7% over last month. However, we are still holding strong at 16% higher than it was last year, all righty? So that is wonderful because we need new listing inventory. Average active price is down 6% over last month. Again, first three days of the month. However, it is down overall 8.8%. So sellers in LA County are asking 8.8% lower than they were last year. And that's pretty, that's pretty significant. Um, however, they're asking that. They're receiving 4.9% higher than they were last year, which is completely normal levels of inventory or, or normal levels of appreciation. Um, so again, when people are saying house prices are soaring and all that, in LA County, there are very normal rates of appreciation. 4.9% is great. Now, this is an opportunity for you to be the local expert, hyper local expert, because you need to know for your neighborhood that you are marketing in. And if I were you, I would always know my own backyard right? If you live in Southgate, if you live in Downey, if you live in Lakewood, wherever you live, you should know what the level of appreciation is in your neighborhood. Because if one of your neighbors asks you about the market, you can say, well, you know what? Every area is actually a little bit different. However, I can tell you in our neighborhood, this is what's going on, right? And you should welcome those conversations, uh, in your area, in your neighborhood, you should know what's going on in your own backyard. So uh, average sold price, again, 4.9% higher than it was last year in LA County, which is great. Sellers are, are definitely um, seeing some appreciation, not, not, not declining, right? All right. So absorption rates. Again, look at that. The first three days of the market, we're at 3.6 months of inventory, which is, is not normal um or or not really where we are we are where we really are at right now um we are really at 2.9 months of inventory which is a 44 percent increase over last year last year we were at two months of inventory currently we are at 2.9 months of inventory which is great we are moving in the right direction in la county almost close to three months of inventory which would be phenomenal right um because as we get closer to that four months which we get closer to a normalized market, um, that's when supply and demand are going to equal each other, right? Where we're gonna have enough houses out there to supply um, the buyers that are in the market. All right, average days on market is down 3.7% over last month and down 11.8% overall. So average days on market last year was 34 days on market. Currently it's only 30 days on market, okay? So again, that is again a great. Uh, it, well, it it is actually just something for you to know um, when you're out there looking for your buyers and when you're talking with your sellers, you've got to give them some indication of what to expect, right? Um, and like I told you before, looking at that average days on market being thirty, the the properties that are in demand they go fast. So do not allow your buyer to get. To, to think that they have 30 days to make a decision. They don't. 
Um, Shelly, you just got into escrow, right? A couple of weeks ago or last week. Am I, it wasn't it you I was talking to? I did. Okay. And, and did that property go fast? The one that you actually chose for your buyer? Yes. Okay. So what, what was that process like for your buyer? When did you see it? How, when did it come on the market and when did you go out and see it? Um, geez, I don't even remember when it came on the market, but it was a probate. Um, uh, you know, it didn't require court confirmation. So I think a lot of people are, because I know from experience when I first started, I just passed right over probates. Yeah. Cause I, I was afraid cause I didn't know. Absolutely. Um, so it, it had, it, there was some competition, but not as much. So I got lucky and I was able to, um, I did, we did offer over asking, okay. but <laughs> I was able to get 10, uh, actually in the offer 10,000 back and termite. And um, that's the one where the guy was like, oh, FHA requires termite, the seller. I mean, oh, the gotcha. I remember. Yep. <laughs> he, he doesn't even know. And then during the transaction, um, I got another 2000. So I altogether 12,000 with um, obviously the appraisal repairs that needed to be done and okay. um, termite. Wonderful, Shelly. Way to go. Yeah, and it's in Long Beach and it's not in a bad area and it's a, a three bedroom, two bath. You go, girl. You crushed that. That's awesome. For 710. So that was good. That was really good. For 710, that's really good. Yeah, I mean, it needs a little bit of love, but it, it's it's a really great property. It has central air. I mean, it has, it has a lot of good things. So my buyers were okay. That's wonderful. Good job. You did that. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's awesome. And yeah. and like Shelly said, you guys, uh, just a side note, probate. Do not just skip over it because it's a probate. Read the comments. If it doesn't require court confirmation, it's really handled like a normal transaction. There are just certain disclosures that you probably aren't going to receive because it's a probate and probate doesn't require certain disclosures. But really the decision-making process um, and all of that typically um, is pretty standard. Um, you might have three to four people that need to make the decision, so it might take a little little more time. But okay. it won't have it won't be subject to overbidding. It won't be subject to going to court for approval. So your time frames are normally a thirty day escrow. Um. All right. Let's okay. So let's hop back on. Shelly, way to go. All right. So let's go. Um. We have, so we talked about average days on market, sold versus original list price here, down here, 1% increase over last month um, and a 1% increase overall. So last year we were, sellers were receiving 97% of their list price in Los Angeles County. Currently they are receiving 98% of their list price. Again, sellers are happy with that. They're getting close to 100% of their list price, right? They're getting 98% of their list price. So that means if they put a property on for $100,000, they're getting $98,000. I, I just wanted to make the math really simple, right? Um, that's all that, that's what this this um, this um, means, right? Um, so just understand that when a seller is getting close to their asking price, they are extremely happy. And in some cases, like Shelly said, she offered over asking price, Right now, she did get back some in terms of closing costs. So actually, Shelly, did it still net the seller over asking? Yeah, so the property was listed at 687. We offered 705, but they came back at 710. And okay. but the thing about it is, is that they are giving us 10 because they, they wanted seven. Oh, OK, so they so got them seven. 10, so that Barrett brings it to 710. But they uh, did agree to termite and the clearance. So that's a big thing. Gotcha. That is yeah. a big thing. Okay. Oh, we still offered over. Yes, we did. Well, you gave them the seven. They got 13 out of yes. it, right? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, 11, because now they got two and then, yeah, you got yes. another two. Yeah, yeah gotcha. they, I mean, it still, it still brings it over asking. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. Okay, good deal. Um, All right. So let's see. Let's go to Orange County. So Orange County, we're looking at for sale property, 14% higher than it was last month. This is properties that are actually on the market, right? For sale properties, 43% higher over last year. Again, so just like in LA County, Orange County has more inventory available than it did last year. 
to the tune of 43% more inventory, you guys. That's huge, especially in Orange County, which is starved of inventory. The, it, in, in Orange County has the lowest levels of inventory out of all the four major counties, okay? Uh, and, and yet they are increased this year by 43% as of this time in the year, which is amazing. So don't let anybody tell you that there's no inventory out there. There is inventory out there, all righty? Sold um, is down 48.9% over last um, month, up, however, 5% over last year. So properties that have actually closed escrow, that's what sold is, they've closed escrow are higher than they were last year. So although we have an increase in, in inventory, it is definitely not translating in terms of sales, closed units. Uh, but definitely we are still moving in the right direction. We are higher on sales than we were last year to the tune of 5% higher in Orange County. We are 3.8% higher on pendants, properties that have actually gone into escrow over last year. 3.8% higher over last year in Orange County. All righty. Um, so don't let anybody tell you that, you know, sales have slumped. And you can tell them, well, actually, the sales trends say that we're 5% higher in Orange County. We're higher in LA County. Now, there's a different story in Riverside and San Bernardino, and we'll see that in a second. But you can definitely say with confidence that I watch these numbers on a weekly basis, right? And we are actually higher um, in sales and in inventory um, in LA and Orange County, right? All right. So new listing inventory. We are 49.1% lower than we were last month. And however, we are holding strong at 13.1% higher over last year, which is great. So we have more new listings coming on the market than we did last year um, in Orange County to the tune of 13.1%, okay? All right, average active price has gone down 5.2% over last month. Remember, first three days of the month, we're just comparing August 1st through August 3rd to July 1st to July 3rd in this category, right? All right, over here, however, we are 0.3% higher on average active price um, in Orange County. So that means sellers are asking 0.3% higher than they did last year, right? And if those of you who've been with us for a while and have watched these trends, you know that it is a trip because last year, Orange County was, was um, asking for 20 to 30% higher than they were the previous year. And now they're down to 0.3% higher, right? And because they realize that there's, the demand has lessened because of the interest rates. And so therefore buyers aren't necessarily jumping on everything so quickly because of those interest rates. So they had to bring their expectations down in terms of their asking price. Um, however, they are receiving, look at that big number, 13.4%. So that definitely is over, that's double digits. They're receiving, their appreciation has gone up 13.4%. That's the, the average sold price over last year. So they are actually receiving 13.4% higher uh, than they did last year. All righty. And I'm muting everybody um, just so that we don't have the background noise. Um, all right. So let's keep pushing. So months of inventory. So we are currently at 1.9 months of inventory in Orange County over 35.6% higher than we were last year. So last year we were at 1.4 months of inventory. Now we're at 1.9 months of inventory. So definitely moving in the right direction um, and still needing more inventory. And then that, isn't that crazy, you guys? We're 35% we're higher in terms of inventory. And yet we are only at 1.9 months of inventory. So last year there was virtually nothing for sale. Pretty crazy. Um, and now at least we have 1.9 months of inventory. Does anybody have a question? No? Okay. All right. All right. So average days on market, 29.4% um, higher than it was last month, 25.8% lower overall as compared to last year. So last year we were at 31 days on market. Currently we are at 23 days on market, right? Because we still have an inventory shortage, um, we are at 23 days on market because people, the buyers that are out there and the sellers that are out there, 
The buyers are sweeping those properties up, multiple counters, all that stuff going on. Um, and so in, in Orange County, you really have to be even more, have a sense of urgency, even more than in any other county, because as you can see, they have lower levels of inventory. Okay. And yeah, lower levels of inventory. So, um, so versus original list price up 3.1% over last month and up 2.1% overall. So sellers last year were receiving 97% of list price, which is great. And now they are receiving 99% of list price. So sellers in Orange County, they are extremely happy, right? Um, <laughs> which, and, and which remember, you guys have a lot to do with that. You control a lot of that. You control it or you have influence over it because you provide the seller with the comparables. You direct them on what you would list the property at, right? All right, Riverside County, let's hop into that. For sale properties down 1% over last month. However, up 36.8% over last year. So again, like the other three made to other two counties, we have an increase in for sale inventory over last year in Riverside County to the tune of 36.8%, which is great. So we're seeing higher levels of inventory uh, available over last year. Sold properties are down 0.6%, so not um, a huge decrease. We would like to see that be in the green. Um, however, it's not a huge decrease. We'll continue to watch that. Um, we are in our, our high sales months. Um, so we'll see if we can rebound, right, on, on those sold. So properties that, have closed, properties that have actually closed escrow has gone down 0.6% over last year. And then pendants, properties that are in escrow, has gone up 1.3% over last year. So two out of our three sales trends, major sales trends that we watch are in the green, which is great. All right, new listing inventory has gone down 49.5% over last month, first three days. Um, however, it's still holding strong, 13.7% increase overall over last year, which is wonderful. So we are definitely seeing our new listings still go up in, in, in Riverside County. Um, and again, we want to continue to see that because we need more inventory to come on the market. All right. Average active price is down 3.4% over last month and up 1.2% overall. All right, so average active price has gone up 1.2% overall. That means sellers are asking in Riverside County 1.2% higher than they were last year. However, look, they're receiving 6.8% higher, okay? So the average sold price has gone up 6.8% over last year. Again, which is, it's it's actually a reasonable amount of um, appreciation for sellers. So sellers are happy they're getting 6.8% higher than they did last year. It's not astronomical, it's still under double digits, right? So reasonable amount of appreciation between four and 7% typically is about the, the normal level of appreciation year over year on average. You're gonna have some years that go low, you're gonna have some years that go high, we're talking about averages. All right, then we've got months of inventory. It's gone up. 152% over last month. Remember, we're just looking at the first three days. But overall, it has gone up 36.9%. We were at 1.9 months of inventory last year. We are currently at 2.6 months of inventory in Riverside County currently. So again, that is a great number um, considering. It is not a great number overall, but it's a great number considering where we've been at 1.9 months of inventory. And now we're at 2.6 months of inventory we are happy, all righty. Um, we and and we're moving in the right direction. <clears throat> Excuse me, and that's the goal. We are moving in the right direction. We need more months of inventory because we only get to that normal market when we hit that four months of inventory and get into that four to seven months of inventory. That's when we hit a normal market. Four to six, actually. Um, average days on market has gone down two point six percent over last month, um, and gone down 10.6% overall over last year as compared to last year. So last year we are 47 days on market. Currently properties are staying on the market and on an average of 42 days on market. Okay. Anybody got any questions? If I see you come off mute, I'm assuming you might have a question. No, we're good. All right. Good deal. All right. So sold versus original list price. 
has gone up 1% over last month and 1% overall. So sellers were receiving 96% of their list price last year. Currently, they're at 97% of list price. So they are definitely happy. Um, sellers are getting 97% of their list price. All right, moving on to San Bernardino County. We're going fast. All right, so for sale properties has gone up 4.1% over last year. Uh, I'm sorry, over last month. Um, and 31.8% over last year. So again, all four major counties, you guys have seen an influx in new, uh, in, in, um, in active properties, okay? In inventory. So we are definitely seeing more inventory be on the market than it was last year. All right. To the tune of we're, we're in between 30 and 38 percent. OK, so that's a really good sign considering we need the inventory. Sold properties has gone down 2.8 percent as compared to last year um, in San Bernardino County. So we are seeing um, less sales at this point in the year. We're seeing less sales, 2.8 less than we did last year. And we're also seeing 1.6 percent less pendant properties. Um, than we did last year. So less properties going into escrow um, than we did last year. All righty. Now we are definitely in, in our hot months. So we can see these numbers rebound um, because this is a cumulative number, right? You guys, this is taken from January to August and comparing it from January to August of last year. Okay. So these are cumulative numbers. Um, so we can still rebound. We'll see what August brings. Um, because normally June, July, August, like our really hot months uh, for real estate. So we'll see if we rebound. All right. In San Bernardino County, new listing inventory is down 40.8% over last month. However, we are holding strong at 12.7% uh, increase over last year. So we are seeing new listing inventory um, still be in the positive. So, which is a great sign because again, we need that inventory, right? All right, average active price has gone down, gone down 0.1% over last month. However, it is up 0.6%. So sellers are asking 0.6% higher than they did last year in San Bernardino County. They are receiving 5.2% higher than they did last year. Again, very normal uh, rates of appreciation. The only county that's getting double digits is da -da -da -da, Orange County, which we which we normally expect, right? However, everybody else is getting normal rates of appreciation um, and to the tune of 5.2% here in San Bernardino County. So sellers are getting, seeing some appreciation. Um, it is it is not huge, but it is definitely the normal rates um, and, and it's definitely enough to cause them, if they're in that situation, to, to definitely want to sell, right? Because they're, they're seeing their property go up in value. All right. So months of inventory. Let's see. 35.1% increase in San Bernardino County. We were at 2.6 months of inventory last year. Currently, we are at 3.5 months of inventory, which is wonderful, right? 3.5 months of inventory. We are seeing San Bernardino County is, is closer to reaching that normal market than any other county that we've been looking at so far, right? They're the closest at 3.5 months of inventory, all right? All right, let's see. Average days on market went up 11.8% over last month and went down 13.6% over last year. So last year, um, the average days on market was 44 days on market and currently it is 38 days on market, okay? Again, don't be fooled. You guys have to hop on it. Properties typically are only staying on the market for seven to 10 days that, that I'm seeing. But remember, this is the average across all San Bernardino County. And you guys know San Bernardino County, Riverside County has some remote areas, right? And in those cases, those properties stay on, on the market for a fairly long time, right? Um, and so when it averages all that together, that's how you get this number, okay? All right, so sold versus original list price is up 4.2% over last uh, month and is down 9.3% over last year, okay, as compared to last year. So last year, sellers were getting 97% of their list price. Currently, they are only getting 88% of their list price. So definitely in San Bernardino County, things have gone down, right? The, the um, sellers are getting 88% of their list price. Now, 
I would also say that you guys have to take a very close look at this because in some cities in San Bernardino County, they are definitely getting their asking price and above. There's still a lot of competition. However, in some areas, clearly they are not, right? They're having to reduce those prices and having to accept lower than their list price to get their properties sold, okay? And again, as listing agents, we should be watching the market to know exactly what's going on so that you price the property right. You do not want to have your sellers sitting out there and then you have to make a drastic price reduction. Now, are some sellers unreasonable and they ask you to list it way up here when you know it should be here? Absolutely, they are. So, and in that case, you have to make a business decision. Do you want to take that listing knowing that you are going to need a price reduction? You, you may want to do that because a listing is a listing, right? Um, however, just know that you are going to have to more than likely reduce that price. And you want to prep your seller for that if they are, have expectations up here, but the market is here. And you want to give them all of the education about the fact that if their if their property is on the market and it goes stale because they are you know unwilling to reduce the price, they may even be setting themselves up to get lesser because people are going to try to lowball them if they see that property still sitting out there, right? All right, we are all done. Any questions about all this? We're good. Yes, thank you, Brandy. You're welcome. Absolutely. All right. Let's go to upcoming events, you guys, this week. We got a lot going on. Um, we have got um, this today. We've got Diana Carbajal, who's going to be doing our group coaching um, at 12 o'clock. That's in-house and on Zoom. Then we've got conversations in real play in the morning at 9 a.m. with Diana. We have um, we have 10 to 12 tomorrow, you guys, with Ed in-house. I think last week, the week before last, when we had Ed in house, you guys, A, it was a packed house. B, it was wonderful, okay? It was wonderful. It was a lot of engagement. He's here live ask, answering questions for us. So if you can be here, be here, all righty? Um, because we are definitely gonna be talking about the um, BRBC, the open house um, forms. And people still have a ton of questions you guys take the classes before you actually get into a situation where you've got a buyer and you need to have it signed, right? You guys will not be confident in your presentation if you have not taken the classes, all right? All right, and then we have our regional tech, what makes a healthy contact, that Zoom only, that's at three o'clock and that's on command, right? It's our technology class. I'm going to be teaching about command. And then we have our zip forms templates class with Eileen. And that's at 630 on Tuesday. Um, there will be no broker hour on Wednesday at 10 because Ed is doing that same live class in Huntington Beach. So if you didn't make it on Tuesday, you can make it in Huntington Beach on Wednesday. And then we've got in-house tech, which is on Zoom and in-house one to two o'clock with Martha. And she's going to also be going back over those zip form templates. Um, so if you didn't get it, or if you needed more help, um, you took well, Eileen's class, you needed more help, take um, Martha's class on Wednesday, all right? Then we're going to be doing Broker Hour with Ed at 10 on Thursday. Um, we've got our regional tech again. Regional tech is Tuesday and Wednesday, you guys. Tuesday and Thursday, I'm sorry, at 3 o'clock. Then we've got Victor Ambrise. You guys, Victor was, was um, honored this last month. Um, he was a bronze winner. He is closing deals like crazy. If you want to hear from a master, take his class, all righty, at 5 p.m. on Thursday. And then we're going to do a mastermind. All of us here in the office are doing a mastermind from 11 to 12 on Friday. So be there if you want a mastermind um, and hear best practices um, as, as far as what we have currently, all righty? Necesito ir a esas clases, John. All right. So we talked about group coaching, our tech workshop with Eileen and with Martha and with Ed, our broker of record. Don't miss it. Victor, don't miss it. Industry news. So we have had a hot summer. Um, and what we have, I'm going to put you guys in a different position because I can't see. All right, there we go. Um, so so I was looking at this. Um, the job reports, you guys, was a big um 
was a big, um, what do they call it? Was a, a, a bit of a big story because um, unemployment has actually gone up. So uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Unemployment has actually, is it, I can't remember yet. Yeah, unemployment has actually, um, has actually gone up. Um, home buyers staying on the sidelines. Okay. Um, and so they are, what they're talking about um, in this economic report is that there are a lot of things, moving parts, basically, there are a lot of moving parts right now um, as it relates to our economy. And because there are a lot of moving parts, the Fed is not taking any action. Uh, even though, even though inflation, even though, um, uh, even though inflation has um, been moving in the right direction. It's been going down, but it did fluctuate a few months ago. Um, but now it's moving in the right direction. And so they did not want to make a change. They want to see it continue to move in the right direction. Um, mortgage rates are still an issue. So we've got a lot of moving parts right now. Um, and yet we have had a decent sales summer. Okay. Um, so basically, um, they're just talking about the fact that we've got to continue. Uh, we got to continue to be out there. We got to continue to be in sales. We got to continue selling. Um, we got to continue to um, keep an eye out on all of our major um, indicators and see how all this is going to affect us going into the last part of the year, right? Um, buyer agent commissions, <coughs> excuse me, already failing or falling. I thought that this was very interesting. Right. Um, but I want you guys to pay attention to this. They're talking about buyer agent commissions already falling. Right. So what they're saying is, is that and, and look at this right here. What they're saying is, is that. We were at two point U.S. home seller was paying about two point five 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 percent commission. Are you who's seeing two point five five on average? Any of you? I'm not, and I haven't been for a very long time. Average commission has been between 2% and 2.25%. So Shelly, because I know that you're out yeah. there, are you seeing yeah, that? 2%, two, two yeah. yeah. Some places where houses are, some places like San Bernardino, you might see two and a half more, but not out here. Yeah. I just recently sold a house out in... um. Joshua Tree, and I got two point five percent. But yeah. like Shelly said, that's because it's out in the boonies, and they or are or, to... or or luxury because I know that like when luxury. We're Ed, I mean, like you know, houses that those are usually stay on the market longer, so the the you know the commissions are more. Yes, because they're trying to entice, they're trying to incentivize people to come mm -hmm. and buy those properties, right? So you'll see a higher commission in those areas, or like she said, with some luxury, um, some luxury properties will do that as an incentive as well. But the house markets know like 2% or yeah. now we're seeing zero. And I just saw a couple that are just like zero. And then in the remarks, it was like sellers not paying commissions at all. And I was like, next. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and, and we're seeing that some people are saying zero. Um, what th this article was bringing to light is that, yes, we are seeing where even before the August 17th date that they are actually starting to put, um, lower the commissions and, and we're seeing that across the board. Um, nothing's so, changed. So, you know, nothing's changed because yeah, nothing, we're still gonna, we're still gonna, we're still gonna let our buyers know, Hey, they're not paying, you know, commission concession, however you want to call it. I mean, it's still going to be the same Brandy, you know, yeah. Yeah. it is it, because to me, Shelly, and, and you bring up a, you say it perfectly, right. It's still the same. You guys, in the MLS, there are still there were sellers before this all came out that would pay zero commission or would pay one percent, one dollar, or one dollar, or five hundred dollars. Blend everything, yeah. Yes. So it is not it is no difference, right? And I'm just gonna let you guys know when I see zero and they're trying to tell me that the seller won't pay. Well, guess what? The seller won't pay yet, right? So when I present my full price offer or a good offer. I bet you the seller will change their tune. Okay. Oh, um, when it's sitting for a long time. <laughs> yes. Wait, wait, wait till it doesn't move. Then 
um, they'll change their tune. Then they'll change their tune, right? So those sellers to me are unreasonable. There's a couple of reasons why that happens. The sellers are either unreasonable or the buyer or the seller's agent is not, is, isn't skilled enough to um, educate the seller on why they should be offering a buyer agent concession, right? And, and that's why we're going so hard on this because we want you guys to be the advocates for our industry so that you guys will be skilled enough to actually go after your commit the, the concessions for the buyer's agent and for yourself, okay? So that is all I have for today, you guys. Any questions? You guys be here for group coaching today at 12 and tomorrow for Ed's class. Um, definitely because this is some good stuff and we want you guys to be the most educated and prepared um, in the industry, in our area, so that we can take our unfair share of this market. Um, as you can tell, I'm excited. I'm passionate about it because I believe that this is our opportunity. This is our opportunity to go out there and shine. And 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 that's exactly what we want to do. And and get and get all and get our business. Okay. Um, any questions? No, thank you, Brandy. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Okay, You're thank welcome. you. Thank you, Brandy. You're very You're welcome. welcome. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Brandy. Have a good, have good, a good week. See you soon. Thank you, Brandy. You're welcome. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Okay. You too. You too. Have a great one. Thank you.